This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. The DNC's newly signed infrastructure bill could fund several local projects. The $3 billion project to reroute the tracks off the Del Mar Bluffs could get some help from the newly signed bill. Could also help connect San Diegans to high-speed internet and create a network to electric vehicle charges. A spokeswoman for the Port of San Diego says that truck traffic in Barrio Logan and National City could also get better by refurbishing the National City Bayfront. Additional details on these plans and projects are expected in the coming days and weeks. And a 30-year-old woman is in the hospital after being brutally attacked outside an Encinitas bar. Brittany visited the First Street bar with her friends and her boyfriend last week. A man believed to be 35-year-old Justin Einhardt was kicked out of the bar while the group was inside. Brittany's friends say that he followed her as they left the bar and then attacked her. She didn't remember the attack. Her friend says that Heinrich punched Brittany in the face. He is scheduled to be arraigned on felony battery charges in the next few days. And a power outage delayed some important business at tonight's city council meeting in Del Mar. This includes an update on the Del Mar Fairground affordable housing effort. The council needs to decide if two consultants can be hired to help with this effort and members had hoped to decide on a group to design concepts and provide economic studies. Power has been restored, but the meeting was adjourned early due to concerns about not having enough of the public in the virtual meeting. 